Hello friend, welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. Here you can see 2006 Toyota Tundra 4 wheel drive limited. And I don't think I showed you on this channel front differential oil change on this generation. And it's very simple, very simple. Well, I guess when you have a lift, right? Everything becomes way easier and not such a hassle. So, front diff, right? Total nicely left there the sticker so you can see immediately what belongs there, right? So, GL5 75W90, which I have over there in that drum. I have a full synthetic for it, right? And now, where you start? So you always crack open this filler, right? This is the filler plug, it's on the top. And obviously on the bottom will be the drain plug. It's right here. So you crack open the top one. Now what you are using. So if you look with me, this is half drive snap-on. It's a hex and it's a number 10. I'm using half drive as big as possible because especially this bottom one, that bottom drain pack, it's many times really hard to get open. So I will be using a large breaker bar, right, to get it done. I already opened the top one, so that was easy and that doesn't have to be so tight and normally they are not. Right. So let's see how the filler plug looks like. There should be no magnet, right? It's just a normal plug with that crush washer on it. So let's go back to it, right? Now you see the filler opening and let's remove the bottom, the drain plug. I have the drain pan, right, the catching pan ready here. And I broke it loose already. I have tied it back because I realized on this gen I didn't show it to you. So you see the oil already. Right, so I will have to push the pan away because the breaker bar it's long and then you just go ahead and crack it open get your own pan right and let's see how much oil will come out of course there is a speck right so i see again that washer already is coming there is a speck we know from the owner's manual what will be the fill let's zoom on that opening right so you can nicely see it right here it's dripping, so I have a time, I will let it drip. And let's go, meanwhile, let's not waste time, let's go look on these two plugs. And this is how I remove them, right? On the left, you see that filler plug. Can you still see it? Yeah. And there is basically squished that crush washer on it, and it should be replaced removed and replaced but you can see let me open it a little bit more you can see there's no magnet in it right because there's no reason here is the drain plug so look the crush washer it's completely different material right this is way larger but most importantly look there is a magnet and that magnet was catching the shavings from the gears so that needs to be cleaned off, right? Can you see it? Right, I can use a brake clean or something. And this crush washer should be replaced so there are no leaks in the future. And here you have a nice close up and detail after it was all cleaned. I don't see that fluid dripping anymore. It was just one drip in what? Uh, 20 seconds so it's basically empty for my purpose right 
So I will install that drain plug with new washer right? and this should be torqued I believe to the 40 newton meters and if you don't have a torque wrench right it means nice and tight now this is how I fill it right I believe this takes 1.2 quarts of that 75W90 GL5 I'm using full synthetic so I set here my meter to the zeros and I basically will go ahead and start pumping the new gear oil in it until it overflows so you have to have that catching pan underneath it right you don't want to have a mess so I will go ahead and we will confirm if that 1.2 it's correct and this is kind of weird how it's all twisted here but let's go so my meter is in pints that means I need to put there two pints and we will see if it all even starts overflows. It should not, right? Because if it's 1.2 quarts, it should take 2.4 pints. Alright, here the meter it's on too. I will take it out. Uh, there is only one drop. See how much more I can change the camera angles. I might be getting in your way, I hope not, but you'll see. So once again, right? This will be your pump or you will probably need a pump because the bottle will not fit there, right? If you're trying to do it yourself. So now this is I believe 1.2. And sure enough, I hope you can see it, I just reached nicely at the level, because you see that running out? This is just perfect. If I put one pump more, it will be waste and it will just be flowing all over. So we are basically confirming that owner's manual, which says 1.2 quarts, perfect. Here goes the filler plug with the new crush washer right again so put it there by the hand and torque it it should be the same 40 newton meters or nice and snug and of course I will be careful since I have this huge breaker bar right I don't want to rip it in the pieces so just use the common sense or the torque wrench. So just a little bit of cleaning and the whole procedure is finished. And considering how these bottom drain plugs are always tight, I rechecked mine and torqued that one to the 50 newton meters. And this is it, it was another tech video for you on this Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. So I hope you find it helpful and make sure you are subscribed. I have always way more coming your way soon. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, my friend.